Okay, I got my, my suspension assembly out here. And of course, I got the, the rear end with the motor and all over here, but we start from the steering end and then work our way back. You can always push it in the wrong direction, but you ain't gonna steer it in the right in the wrong direction. So we make all our precision measurements off the front while we put the front end in, and then as long as we, we get that front end nice and precision, then uh, everything will fall into place in the back. So what we're going to do to connect this to our 2x3 and 3x2 box tubing is uh, I want to keep this removable if I ever have to take it apart and fix it or whatever. And uh, of course I'd like to sandblast some of this stuff and clean it up and paint it before I put it in. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, uh, oblong angle here I think it's two by three or something and made our one precision hole up front here and that's where it'll line up and we'll run a bolt down through that and we'll weld the head of the bolt in here and then the nut and the lock washer will go up from underneath and hold hold it to it then of course we'll do the same thing for the back hole and I don't have any of this lined up correctly right now but I'll just lay it in here to give you an idea then once it's bolted to the frame then it just lays lays again here and we'll take a precision measurement from the front of this angle bracket because this front hole was a precision hole so we'll measure from here out to the to the end and that gives us our you know our baseline and then we'll do the same thing to the other side and then we'll have we also there's another brace that goes here and up. It's kind of like a uh, uh, support, I guess, to keep this from from flexing in. And we can address that almost like a almost like a strut tower bar, if you will, uh, after we get the rest of the frame set in. So uh, I'm not real worried about that right now. But that's how we're going to set that. Then once that's set in place and marked and measured we'll uh, and we'll uh, tack weld it into place and you'll see how nicely this lines up lines up with the thing for the uh, sway bar which is really nothing to need to worry about too much with it being a, a ute but and then this other reinforcing member here and uh, we'll uh, uh, what I'll do for that is, is we'll just tack weld uh, bolts to the uh, to the three by two there, and bolt everything up from underneath. That way, everything's removable, repairable, and and uh, not jury rigged. So, and then again, the same thing will follow through on the other side here. And that'll make sure that. Our, our front suspension is perfectly perpendicular to the frame so you know we're not going down the road dog leg like that so so that's it for the moment I'm out of time tonight and uh, I gotta get the, the right size bolts and uh, so it'll be off the tractor supply in the morning so it's uh, getting on 8.30 and Mama Tammy's on her way home. She was uh, hanging out with her daughters today. Uh, one of them's going to get married here in September, so they were out hunting wedding dresses. So uh, when she comes home, she's going to be hungry. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. So we've got uh, got the front end uh, made up, and I've started mocking up the rear part. So I'll show you what we got here.
Okay, as I showed you before, how we were doing the, with the piece of angle and then welding on to the box tubing. And that's all mounted on there to the suspension now. And I've got my stringers in there to hold everything in place for the time being. And they, uh, they come back. Now, of course, the back section and the front section are in different widths. So I have to mock them up each individually and then we'll join them together. <clears throat> so with the back section, we've got the two by three box tubing. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier video, that we had a precision measurement to start with uh, on the front end. And we do pretty much the same from the back end. And our precision measurement will be from this end in to this mount. And we've you know, determine that measurement and that's what we're going on. I have this one done and mounted. Um, didn't get to that one yet today, but um, so that's there and then we'll have the the piece going across the back and then that'll be the back bumper and it lines up real nice with the exhaust and, and then we'll frame it all up back here and have a uh, you know, a trailer hitch. So and then once we get that, we've got that done, then we'll set the hanger for this, which will come down off of here. Now we don't have, uh, I'll have to level this cradle out. And again, it's, it's hanging from the crane right now to support all the weight. And we'll have uh, this leveled out and then we'll, we'll have our plate come down here with the ears to come on each side of this. It's this and that back mount are in line so that makes it makes it real easy so I don't have to do any bending or or cutting on the on the uh, the box tubing and once we get these pieces uh, in place and attached firmly to the cradle then we'll align it up to the front section and then uh, box it all in and, and weld it up and then we'll have, we'll cage it, you know, to make it the structure stiff and, and strong. So but that's pretty much it for today. It doesn't look like, it doesn't sound like I've done much, but it took all day to do it. And uh, uh, we'll uh, keep you posted as to our progress and stay tuned. Thanks again for watching.